Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm taking apart an LED work light to see what's inside. This really bright light does not hold a charge anymore and I don't have a plug to make it work, but I know it has potential. And guess what? I figured out a way to make it run after I took the whole thing apart. So stick with me. Let's see what's inside and you can see what you might be able to salvage from a light like this, how you might be able to repair it, or maybe just repurpose. If for no other purpose, this light would be great for salvaging the strong neodymium magnets that are on the outside. There's three strong large ones on the bottom and one on a detachable holder on the side. Either way, those would make great parts for other projects. But let's not stop there. Let's start looking into how we're gonna get this thing apart. One key to taking apart an electronic project like this or many other products is to look for the hidden screws. This one has several that are not easily detectable unless you know where to look or you can start kind of randomly guessing. There's a couple of slide parts that come off the sides as well as a couple of rubber bands concealing a few others that we're going to get to in just a minute. It's always good to take it a little bit slow and cautious when you're separating segments from a product like this because you'll notice here the base is connected to the main part of the handle with some wires that don't have a lot of room to stretch out. Now that I've got it apart to this point, I'm noticing several things that are good signs for me for the other ways I might want to use this. Number one, everything seems to be connected via plugs, including this rechargeable battery, which is a 3.6 volt battery, and I know I have plenty of other options at my disposal for charging this up at a 3.6 or 3.7 volt rate. In fact, one of those ways was highlighted in a previous video in which I made rechargeable battery packs. Those happen to run at just the perfect voltage and power for this light. So I'm taking the one from that past video, which you can find the link to in the description below, and I'm gonna run the battery pack to test out the light and see if everything is working the way it's supposed to. With a quick press of the power button, I am very pleased to find that the LED light bar that's inside of this is working wonderfully. So I have a very bright light with a lot of potential future uses, including potentially taking a battery pack like this and working its way into the handle for another project that I just might already happen to have in mind. Based on the outcome of this project, I am going to not only repair but repurpose this, but as I mentioned, you may also want to salvage if you have a light like this. And there's a lot of great things that you might want to be able to use for another project, such as those magnets, the LEDs for sure, and some of the other parts. But for now, I want to thank you for stopping by Dialed In DIY to check out my video. If you enjoyed it, or maybe just got a little something out of it, I'd love it if you'd let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. And as long as you're here, please subscribe and feel free to check out some of my other playlists for similar dialed in DIY videos. And always, please feel free to share your comments and other ideas you might have for an LED project like this. And as always, 
make sure to come on back because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.